What is going on, my YouTube friends, my Patreon friends, my Gabriel Henrique friends? Working on the name. I'm working on getting the name right. <laughs> it's totally me. Uh, I saw he dropped Vision of Love earlier. That is a Mariah Carey cover, right? Um, and I'm not too sure who the gentleman is playing this really cool guitar beside him, but I'm looking forward to this, man. Um, I'm going to have the original link. I'm going to have uh, Gabrielle's link in the description box, and I would love if y'all giving him a view. And uh, we got to make sure we're supporting these artists, man. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting long ahead of myself. Let's do this. Let's do this. Treating me kind, sweet destiny. Cool. Carry me through this inspiration to the one that was waiting for me. It took so long, still I believe. Somehow the one that I needed would find me and fetch you and leave. <laughs> I have vision with love And it was all that you give it to me Pray for the night oh, I gotta back it up I was trying to pause it before he started singing again This acoustic guitar is really interesting y'all I wonder if they like doubled it up Because it feels like this side's a little brighter This side's a little bit more like dull But you get this nice real stereo Like real wide image for Gabrielle's vocal To just sit clean in the middle of right And it does feel really pushed far apart So there's other ways you could do that You can use um, a tool called a stereo enhancer And you can push things up to like 200% So like you know when you think left and right Like you get uh, like a certain percentage up to 100% left where it's just on the left but then you can go past that and like my way of describing that I'm sure there's better ways of this is it almost feels like it like drops down low or it wraps behind you depending on like your listening experience um, and these ones feel like they're pushed quite far wide but like if it's just like a mono channel from this single guitar then you would use something like a stereo uh, expander or widener to push that even wider right and then it's out of the way of your mono vocal in the middle and just like I don't know if it's the guitar. Maybe it's a stereo guitar. I've never seen anything like this before with this like crazy frame to it. But it sounds cool, man. It sounds real cool. Gabrielle's going crazy though. <laughs> Let's go. Break for the Like, I just straight up don't think there's any note that he can't sing. <laughs> He's going to sing them all. He's going to sing them all, y'all. <laughs> but, like, beyond that, yet, right? Like, a lot of folks can say sing high notes, sing low notes. That's cool. But in only certain vowels. Not everyone can sing, like, their whole octave range or their whole vocal range in all the vowels, right? That's, like, where the good and the greater separated in my personal opinion right um like i'm reminded of uh, steve perry from journey right like that was one of his big things was it didn't matter the vowel he could sing like over like four octaves or how, whatever it was right and uh gabriel enrique man like i have not seen him either lean on one vowel sound to like get the notes out and i haven't seen him like seem restricted or like flawed by any of like any of the vowels like everything is just so clean and free you know what i mean like uh uh that i be seen the answer the heaven has sent down to me the tree to me
like, come on, guitar player. How are you not laughing right now? I'd be like, I would <laughs> probably mess up my parts doing exactly what I'm doing right now. I'd just be like, wow, man. Like, holy crap. <laughs> Even like those low notes that he's running off to, he's done that a couple times. And I think he's keeping his larynx position in the same spot too, man. I was talking about this in a different video, but like, because I'm not much of a singer, like I have sang in bands before and I've been paid to sing actually once or twice, but uh, I'm, I'm not a singer like by trade. I'm a sound guy, right? And uh, so a bad habit that I have is when I go down to reach for a low note, I will drop my larynx position because it gets a better feeling resonance for me. But that's not always technically correct, right? Like it doesn't keep the voicing or the phrasing the same as when you have like a raised larynx for some of your vocals and then you go down to a low note and you keep your larynx, larynx raised, right? Like that's just a professional singer versus me. <laughs> oh, oh, that you Turn out to Unreal. Unreal. Part of me, y'all can kill me for this if you want. Part of me thinks that this is a re performance, like for the video. Um, I don't know if this one was like live, live. Uh, because I think that there was a couple sections where like the guitar notes changed before I saw his hands move, but like it could just be a million other things too. I'm just speculating, right? But uh, yeah, man, this is pretty killer. This is pretty killer, man. Like his vocals just never cease to impress me. Cause wow, y'all. <laughs> I, I don't know many singers. I, I don't know if I can name any singers, modern singers today, that are doing what he's doing. <laughs> like, and just with an acoustic guitar seated on a stool, like. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I appreciate y'all hanging out, man. This has been such a fun journey. Um, glad I got on this one on time. That's kind of exciting for me. <laughs> so they came out like four hours ago. Um, but I appreciate y'all. I'm going to have the link to this one in the description box. Please go give him another view. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one.